Uh, hello, hello, everyone. Let's continue our class of foundation engineering. We are still on this first chapter, which is review of soil mechanics. Okay. This video, uh, we will start a new section of this chapter number one. The section number six, which is about soil density and compaction. Okay. But it's still review of soil mechanics. Okay. So this subsection also, section number six of this chapter also has some subsections, a lot actually. So we'll try to do some kind of introduction with this video about introduction about soil density and compaction. Okay. So designer, geotechnical engineers that are designing foundation and retaining structure like retaining wall you must understand soil density that soil density is very important to understand okay and they must understand how this soil density changes with the change of water content okay when the water in the soil changes how the density of the soil will change it's very important to understand so knowing how to determine and enhance soil unit weight is really crucial for this kind of uh, engineering work geotechnical engineering work especially for foundation and retaining wall but actually almost all or when I say foundation, don't see only uh, footing or pile foundation. Road, foundation of road also is included in there. Okay. So understanding uh, how to determine and enhance the unit weight is very important for this. And This involves understanding commonly used soil unit weight and densities and the relationship between this unit weight, density, water content, void ratio. Okay. If you know already, if you remember very well your class of soil mechanics, then this will be just kind of boring for you. Okay, let's start with one of the unit weight, the bulk unit weight. What is bulk as the name said, bulk means like the unit weight that includes everything, okay? So in this video, we will just see several type of unit weight and how they are related to each other with water content and void ratio. So the bulk unit weight, we will name it here, gamma B. B as bulk, okay? That unit weight represents the total weight, the total weight of unit volume, okay? It means the weight that includes uh, not only soil particle, but also water, air in the, in the soil, everything. And to calculate this, uh, gamma B, which is bulk unit weight, accurately estimate, estimating the, the total volume, okay, VT of soil mass is important because if you have unit weight is weight divided by volume, right? If you have the total weight, you should have also the total volume, these two. Okay, so to determine this gamma B, uh, in the field is somehow sometimes difficult. It can be challenging. Okay, so and to determine that, sometimes it requires like very 
specialized test like sun cone test okay we discuss this in the section number two uh 16 six two okay so this equation as i said it just as i said the total weight divided by total volume okay total weight divided by total volume and it includes everything Okay, so typically the the unit weight expressed in kilonewton per cubic meter, and on the other hand, using basic basic qualification property of soil such as water content, moisture content, and void ratio, the bulk unit weight of soil can be also expressed as this formula. So this is the, we can say row formula, row formula. And if you have the water content and the, the void ratio, specific gravity, you can also obtain the bulk unit weight by using this formula, gamma. We will give the, the meaning of each this. This omega is moisture content, water content. E is void ratio. This one is specific gravity of soil particles, which is ranging between 2.5 to 2.75. Do you know the meaning of this, right? Okay. And this is the unit weight of water. So, you have now two formula to estimate bulk unit weight. Let's continue, but we will write these two formula here, okay? To continue and the meaning of each terms in the formula, okay? Now let's talk about dry unit weight. I hope for bulk unit weight, everything is okay. You understand what is bulk unit weight and how to calculate the bulk unit weight. So let, let's talk now about dry unit weight that one is very 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 important for people who are doing compaction because the compaction is the degree of compaction is judged based on the dry unit weight okay so how do we obtain it what is dry unit weight and how do we obtain it dry unit weight is the weight of soil solid soil of unit weight of soil that include water and air this one the weight of solid okay it means um the volume itself is the volume of everything but the weight is the weight of soil only I'm not sure if you understand. It means like this. The V is same as this bulk unit weight, VT. Okay. The difference resides in this one, WS. Instead, here we have WT. This WT includes WS, W of water, and W of air. But actually for air, it is neglected. Let's say just water and 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 s and soil particles. Okay. However, this one is just soil particles, the weight of soil particles only divided by the total volume. This is dry unit weight. Okay. I hope you can see the difference. It's easy anyway. So since the dry unit weight in this equation does not include water. By setting the water content in this equation here, because there is no water. So water content in this equation is like zero somehow. Okay. It can be then uh, seen that uh, the dry unit weight of soil can be expressed like this. 
it is same as this one as you can see but this is what the the, the water content is zero zero percent that the only difference okay the only difference is that so then by using this equation uh this one 20b and 31b we can get some relationship that can allow us to get the relationship between dry unit weight and bulk unit weight so if you get you have the bulk unit weight the water content you can obtain this dry unit uh, this relationship you can see that this is the relationship between dry unit weight and the bulk unit weight it's very easy to see that and you need the water content to, to know that okay Okay, we write all these formula we derived so far here. All of them are here in the meaning of the terms. Now let's talk about saturated unit weight. You know about the bulk unit weight, you know about the dry unit weight. How about saturated unit weight? Saturated unit weight means all the, the void in the soil are full of water. That is the meaning of saturated unit weight. So the relationship between the basic uh, quantification property of soil uh, furnish, furnishes a, a valuable comp a computational tool in unit weight estimation. You have this very famous equation and also I, I show how this equation is established in my soil mechanics class. This equation, very famous, that links the degree of saturation and void ratio, water content, and specific gravity. Okay. The S degree of saturation. Remember that if the water is saturated, degree of saturation is 100%. It means 1. 100%, that means 1. Okay? If there is no water in the soil, the degree of saturation is 0. That's what you need to know. So let's consider in our case, the, the soil, subsurface soil, beneath the groundwater or within a capillarity zone is let's say saturated with water so remember what i said if it is saturated means degree of saturation is one or again 100 percent so the bulk unit weight under saturated condition is expressed by the saturated unit weight so it is same bulk unit weight like here However, it is saturated. So what we do is we take S as one. And in this formula, using this formula, we can get S is one. And we combine this formula, okay, the bulk unit weight formula, and this formula. As you can see, if we put S as one here, 100%, we can obtain this omega, the water content, as omega will be then, um, or again, we can use, we can even use just the, the E, the void ratio. If S is one, the void ratio is, will be omega by water content multiplied by specific gravity okay s is one e will be equal to omega by gs do you understand that if you replace this by one because 100 percent saturated 
100% means 1. Then we replace the value of the expression of E in this formula of bulk density. Okay. Just replace E. You will get E equal W uh, omega multiplied by GS. Replacing it here, you here. You get this expression as saturated unit weight. Okay. I hope you understand. So next, all the formula are here. Next, let's talk about submerged unit weight. Submerged unit weight, which means, that one is very simple. Submerged unit weight, we will name it gamma prime, okay? When the soil, or uh, in the foundation stress a uh, computation a uh, computation involve underwater soil it means all your soil is under underwater okay in that case what will you... so this is the formula of submerged unit weight gamma prime saturated unit weight minus the unit weight of water okay and you get and this formula is very useful if you are dealing with uh, effective stress okay because you you can easily obtain effective stress by using this gamma prime it will be like this if you remember this formula okay uh, effective stress gamma multiply by z minus gamma w multiplied by dw dw is the, the water level okay the depths of the water or water level so if in case like in case of uh, submerged soil it means that This can be replaced easily. You can it it can help you to obtain directly uh, this one. Okay. Now let's talk about relative density. What is relative density? Relative density is something that tells us the degree of packing of the soil particle in the granular soil, like sand or gravel, okay? So can be it can be expressed using this formula. E means void ratio. The void ratio, your actual void ratio you have right now, your soil ha is having right now, minus the minimum void ratio. Okay, and everything divided by the maximum void ratio minus the minimum void ratio. And you want to express it on, in percentage, you have to multiply by 100. This degree of relative density. So E, void ratio, in the natural state of soil, as I said, E minimum is the minimum uh, void ratio. And to obtain this minimum void ratio, it will need the maximum compaction condition. Okay, using various and uh, vigorous vibration. And the maximum one is when the soil is very loose. Okay, maximum void ratio under minimum compaction. That is the when the minimum the compaction is not done at all. Okay. From this equation, 
what can we say? We can say that uh, when the relative density is zero, it means we have this one is the minimum for the lose, loses condition. Relative density is zero for the loses condition and relative density is 100% for the densest condition, the densest condition. So when the soil is very loose, loose, the loosest condition, the relative density is zero. And for the densest condition, the relative density is 100%. Okay, I think that's all. And uh, next time we will try to do uh, compaction, compaction in lab and compaction in in the field on the field test and some exercises. Okay, so see you next time. Thank you very much for your time.